up, YouTube? This is Don Freeman uh, coming at you again. Just chilling over here at the uh, Buck Creek State Park. And um, it's cooling out on a Saturday. Uh, had a heck of a morning. I watched my, one of my YouTubers, uh, Chris Sane. And he was up there in Michigan in the area of all those tornadoes. And luckily, uh, nothing happened to him which I'm glad, and um, I had me a tough day myself, went out to uh, dump a load of brush after doing some work, making a little money, and uh, went to turn into the CNS, a place to uh, dump all the, the brush, and a guy came up and tried to pass me and sideswiped my bumper, so, you know, had to deal with that this morning. Luckily for me, all it did was maybe knocked out the uh, turn signal on my uh, old truck. But uh, his car, he sideswiped the, the side of his uh, both his uh, passenger doors. So he's going to have to deal with that. But yeah, just a crazy morning. So, you know, those are things that happen in life. Uh, but yeah. I did uh, have a nice week in the stock market. Um, I had some of my uh, end of the month paying uh, cover call ETFs. Uh, let me know. I'm going to be getting around, uh, uh, I want to say about $18 on one, uh, post about $31 on another. And um, I took some money out of another and added it to my. Uh, APLY, my Apple Yield Max. And so I expect my Apple Yield Max to uh, halfway through the month give me a nice payment. Hey, YouTube. Uh, this is Don Freeman. Uh, my mic had died on me while I was out here recording. So I just wanted to get back on here and finish uh, my thoughts. Uh, basically, was out here saying that. Um, I had 79 shares of the Apple Yield Max, and so I was ex expecting to maybe get around $47 for the next month. And um, looks like um, I may have missed that. Uh, besides getting uh, $18 off of one and $30 off of another one, I was also getting $8 on the 28th, and uh, so that was something I overlooked and then also overlooked the fact that uh, my Devo I'll probably get around ten dollars on that one um, had some other thoughts uh, was talking about how Fed pal had came out and spoke on Friday but um, didn't know what he what all he said but it looked like the market kind of rebound at the end of the day which is good and so those are some of the things that you try to look out for when you're trying to figure out how your uh, how your stock market is going. And so, was also uh, out here uh, trying to uh, basically. Um, hey, hey, was basically out here uh, trying to. Uh, you know, kind of update everybody on how everything was going. Um, one thing that happened to me over the week was, uh, I, I don't know if I had spoke about it earlier, but was uh, in that accident and wanted to uh, maybe on my old work truck, try to uh, go from just liabilities to full coverage, just in case, since I'm down a truck and, um, you know, got a, another truck that I use, but it needs to have the uh, the uh, rack and pinion steering uh, mount rack uh, at the rack welded. And so, while that's down, you know, I was just thinking about and I had actually went out and looked at another truck uh, around the same year and uh, talked to the guy and. The way things are right now, like my own uh, bank, the truck was too old for them to give me uh, financing as a car. 
And so my uh, credit union, they suggested taking out a personal loan. Well, the way the uh, yields are right now on interest rates, you know, they're talking about 17 percent. And then, uh, you know, went to that car lot and looked at what their financing uh, banks and other routes were going to look like. And they were looking at uh, 24 percent. So I was just thinking to myself, you know, that's that's really not worth it. Um, when you're looking at something like that, you know, forty five hundred dollars over around four years could turn into, you know, almost nine grand. So, you know, you got to look at those things. It's not really worth it. You know, if it was uh, an investment, something that would pay me at the same time that I'm paying the investment back, that'd be something different. But, um, you know, those are some of the things I was out here talking about. Um, another thing that I was trying to uh, get off my chest is uh, I was trying to change uh, some of my ETFs and put more money into the high yielders like the yield max, uh, like my other cover call ETFs. And uh, just look at how the, uh, the dividend payouts will kind of supercharge uh, the uh, compounding effect of my uh, of my portfolio. Um, you know, that's that way I can when I get my payments, start allocating not only to the other uh, cover call ETS, but back to some of my uh, original stocks that I like that uh, have a little growth that have, uh, you know, what I want to say, you know, a regular yield, you know, maybe like three to five percent and just go from there. So, yeah, I didn't want to keep everybody too long. I wanted to do that video and, you know, like I said, it was beautiful out out here at the Buck Creek State uh, Park. And um, yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.